Uh, in the Elections Results Centre in Pretoria, we have Mr. Bantaholo Misa, the leader of the UDM, the United Democratic Movement, with us. And um, I think today the, the big buzz here is coalitions as the results come in. Um, Ms. Olamisa, I saw you on the front page of the Pretoria News today and a picture under the headline, you know, that coalitions, we are talking coalitions here today. Could you tell me how, how that's going? Well, yesterday I was approached by the leader of the DA who said they would like to work with us in Port Elizabeth. However, we agreed that let us uh, suspend those discussions until the final results have been announced by the IEC. In the meantime, I've consulted with the leaders of uh, the UTM, the chairperson, deputy chairperson, national organizer, treasurer, everybody, and SG. They are in agreement that uh, we can engage the DA. I also consulted the leader of the UTM in Port Elizabeth, Mr. Bobani. So he says, okay, go ahead, talk to them. Let's hear what are they saying first. So in principle, I would say if the DA comes back again to us, we will sit down now formally with them. Is the DA the only party that you've been speaking to? Yeah, that's the only party. I also received a call from the secretary of the ANC in the province, Mr. Mabuyane who also indicated that they would like to talk to us. But at that stage, I also advised him that due to non-declaration of the results, we don't know what was the feeling, what is the feeling of the voters on the ground. So we will talk once the results are announced. Okay, and what do you think the feeling of the voters will be? Will, will you be speaking more to the DA or more to the ANC? Who are you more likely to go with? Well, the UDM has got a position in that when it comes to coalitions, we first of all judge what is the feeling of the voters on the ground. Who did they prefer? So you look at the result of the IEC. We don't have to be worried about this person is, a, is, our, is this, we don't like that person. It's a principle based on the results on the ground. Okay. And um, would, if, if the EFF wanted to join the coalition, for instance, say for instance you speak to the DA and, and they want to bring the, the EFF on board, how would you feel about going into a coalition with that, that where they are in as well? I would appreciate that uh, if uh, the, 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 the EFF and DA were to work together. In fact, since 2014 election, the initiative has been with the opposition parties in parliament. And uh, if you look at the results today, we can loudly say we are being rewarded for being consistent to tell the ANC government that it is misruling this country. And the people now are reacting exactly from that. And uh, we have been working together in the opposition benches where we agree. We normally narrow the gaps when we have common interest. If we don't agree, we go our separate ways. But nine out of ten times the opposition showed last year, or in the last uh, three years, that uh, <clears throat> we are representing a certain population who says they are fed up with the maladministration of the current government. And uh, so I don't see any reason why the EFF, DA, UTM cannot work together. And your party has been in a coalition government in a, in a major metro since, well, it, it was in the coalition government 2006 to, to 2011. How did that work for you? That, that was a, it was a big coalition with a lot of parties, but how did that work? Did, did you feel that you disappeared? Or did you feel that you could actually represent the voters and, and make change? Well, because then we didn't put conditions. So it's very difficult to analyse so we didn't put condition. The same applies when we assisted ANC in 2004 in KwaZulu Natal. When they ascended to power, never put conditions or demanded positions. We just followed what the people on the ground wanted in KwaZulu Natal and Cape Town. So this time around, we will see whether there is a need to demand certain or a, a bargain.
but uh, I'm not a, a fundi on such things of bargaining. <laughs> so I was going to ask, would the bargaining involve positions, or, so, no. or will you leave that to your to your party? Okay. Too early. And um, the significance of Nelson Mandela Bay, um, you've been close to, to the former president himself and the emotional significance of, of actually being in power there, being in a, a government that's in power there. How, how do you feel about that? Well, that shows that uh, what Mandela had fought for and many others is, being, is coming to fruition. They have never fought that the power will always be in the hands of the ANC. But they said, let all those who live in South Africa share the power proportionally or otherwise. Yeah, so you feel that, that you'd be living up to his ideals in, in the metro named after him? No, it, definitely. It's only an ANC member who would squeal and moan and winch. For this one, it's, it's, it's what they fought for. Black and white South Africans must work together. They are going to see it.